one person in particular, I won't say their name, but she was having a really hard time and was suicidal. Then I got a call that they were at the hospital because they were threatening and the police were called. And so that was the first experience. And so that was a shock to me because I didn't know what they were going through until that call came in. And I hadn't been in touch with them for a couple of years. So to get that call that they trusted me, you know, it was, um, I was honored that they reached out to me. And then after that, it was the phone calls. So I was there for her and listened to her on the you know, phone for hours, helping her work through and problem solve and figuring out self-care activities to do, um, crisis numbers, other outreach that were living closer to her at the time so that she had a number of resources available. And just being a listening ear, I think, was really helpful in that situation. Um, but it's hard because you take on that personal res responsibility thinking that um, what if it wasn't enough? You know, um, but being able to have the contract for safety and things like that, um, I think were really helpful. And just keeping in touch and checking in with them every day, every couple hours, just kind of like what the need was for that day. So.